This is what it's all about. Taconite pellets. Literally trillions of them. These pellets, a concentrated form of iron ore, are responsible for the Upper Peninsula's mining industry today. The hills southwest of Marquette contain one of America's first large iron ore deposits to be developed. Iron ore was discovered here in 1844. The first mine opened two years later, and by 1864, the Northwestern had reached Nagani to tap the region's resources. Today, the ore is divided between two railroads on its way to the Great Lakes steel mills. The Lake Superior in Ishpeming brings the ore to the Lake Superior port at Marquette, where it is loaded into ore boats bound for Ohio and Pennsylvania. Western gets the long haul to the Lake Michigan port at Escanaba. There it's transferred to boats for the trip to the steel mills of Gary, Indiana. Iron ore presents special challenges to a railroad. It's the heaviest commodity that railroads commonly haul. A pair of 26-foot ore jimmies carrying 140 tons of ore take no more space than a hopper carrying 100 tons of coal. Then there's the challenge of running these heavy trains over the undulating grades. Speed isn't essential, but a lot of tractive and braking effort is. A locomotive in ore service needs good lugging ability, powerful dynamic brakes, and just plain ruggedness. It must also withstand the Upper Peninsula's bitterly cold winters. The Northwestern found their C628s well suited to ore service. So well suited that they ran much longer than most people expected. By the mid-1980s it was difficult to find Alcos running anywhere, let alone in heavy mainline service. But the C628s were on the job every day, virtually banishing EMD power from their territory. Escanaba is the center of the Northwestern's ore operations. Although the city runs on Eastern Time, a C628's day starts here on Central Time like the rest of the Northwestern. Hostlers have brought a three-unit lash-up from the engine terminal and coupled onto 110 empty ore cars. After the crew climbs aboard and performs an air test, they're ready to highball.
W Escanab operator to the extra 6701 West. Hi, Don. What was your departure time? 115, Roger. The 61 miles between Ordak and Empire Mine is mostly upgrade, a moderate challenge for 8,250 horsepower hauling a 2,400 ton empty train. Usually the C628s have no problem reaching the 40 mile an hour restriction on empty ore cars. Little Lake is the usual meeting spot between loaded and empty trains. The northbound empty trains, which are timetable westbound, take siding while the southbound loaded trains, timetable eastbound, hold the main.
Starting at Partridge, the Northwestern trains are governed by the LSNI control operator at Eagle Mills. Most trains head south from Partridge Junction using trackage rights on the LSNI through Empire Junction to Empire Mine. The Northwestern interchanges with the LSNI and the Sioux Line at Ishpeming. The Northwestern job that works Ishpeming will drop off its ore cars at Partridge or Empire Mine, make its delivery to Ishpeming, and tie up. The next day it reverses the process. After 1985, this was the only train that regularly had a caboose. <laughs> 